In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet this phone strap. I hope you will enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video and let's get into it. And you will need a double knit yarn in two colors. I have 100% cotton here but I will leave a link for these two in description below. Then you will need scissors, needle, 4mm hook and these two clips for your lanyard. Now to start off, you want to grab your yarn with a bit of a tail. So I will be having about 40 centimeters of a tail and make a slip knot, which you can do by making this loop and then grabbing your tail through. Put your hook in and tighten it up. To start, you want to chain two and to do a chain, you want to yarn over, pull it through, then again, yarn over, pull it through and you will have two chains. Now skip the very first one and go into the second one with a single crochet. So put your hook in, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, turn your work and you will have one stitch here. So find that stitch and do two single crochets inside. That is called increase, so you go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, then again, go in, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two. We just increased by one stitch by doing two single crochets in one stitch. And don't worry if it has some holes in it, this will be on a wrong side and it basically happens because we are doing multiple stitches in one. Now for row three, you want to chain one, Turn your work and you will need to do two increases in these two stitches. So right into the first one, do two single crochets. That's one and two. Into the next, another two single crochets. And this is how it will look. Now you want to chain one, turn your work, and for row four, you will be doing single crochet, then two increases and single crochet. So into the first, go over the single crochet, into the next one, do two so that it is increase. Again, another increase in the next. So two stitches in one, and in your last one, just a single crochet. Chain one, turn your work and for row number five you will be doing two single crochets, increase and finish off by doing three single crochets. So one in the first, one in the second one, increase, so two single crochets in the next one, and do three single crochets in the next three. You should have seven single crochets at this point and this is very important because we will need to kind of put our heart in the middle so that it is an odd number of stitches and it is seven. Make sure that you have seven before you go with more rows. But yeah, once you've got it, turn your work and for the next row, just do seven single crochets, basically one in each. Once you're done, chain one, Turn your work and from now on till the very end, your row count will remain 7. And basically row 7 is where the heart comes in. Now for row 7, you want to start off by doing 3 single crochets in your main color. So first, second and third. For the third one, you don't want to pull it through because this is where we will change color. So I'm just going to grab my red one for the heart. I'm going to put it around my hook and pull it through. We only need one stitch in red for this row. So I'm just going to go in to the next stitch, 
making sure I have my tails on my hook and I'm gonna pull up a loop. I'm gonna drop my red, pick up my pink and finish this stitch off so that we only have one in red, like this. Finish off by doing three single crochets in the next three stitches and you can have your red yarn dropped down. Mainly you will be carrying pink only. And then chain one. Turn your work. Now we will be leaving this tail that we have here of the red just like so. And now in the next two, single crochet with the pink. So that's the first one. And the second one. I'm gonna drop my pink, grab my red and change color. Tighten it up. And you want to bring this forward so that you can carry it under your stitches. And for the red, we won't be carrying it in because we only need it for the middle part, while the pink is needed both at the beginning and the end. So into the next stitch, go in and do a single crochet. Then again into the next one. And as you can see, I'm keeping the pink above the hook. And for the last single crochet in red, just go in, pull up a loop, and leave it as it is. Drop your red, pick up your pink, yarn over, and pull through both. Tighten it up and bring that red on a wrong side of your work. Do two single crochets in the next for the pink. Chain one and turn your work. Now for the next row we only need one single crochet in pink so I'm just gonna grab that and do my single crochet without finishing it off because this is the last stitch I need in pink so I'm gonna drop that, pick up my red and pull through. Grab your pink and make sure that you carry it under your stitches and do five single crochets in this red. And as you can see, I have my pink above my hook. And on my fifth one, I'm not gonna pull through because I'm gonna drop the red, pick up the pink, and finish off the single crochet and then just do one single crochet in the last one. This is how it will look so far. Now for the last row of doing hard, chain one, turn your work. In the first stitch it's single crochet with the pink, drop it, pick up your red and pull through. Make sure you carry the pink under your stitches and do two single crochets in red. That's one and two. Drop the red, pick up the pink and pull through. This is now the only uh, place where we will be carrying the red because we will need it one more time. So I'm just going to do one single crochet now in the pink, having the red above my hook. Drop the pink, grab your red and finish that single crochet. And then again do two single crochets, making sure you have your pink under stitches. On your second one, drop the red, pick up the pink, and pull through. Grab the red in front on the wrong side and do single crochet in pink. And now for the next two rows you want to chain one, turn your work and you will be doing seven single crochets in pink for the next two rows.
then chain one, turn your work, and do one more row. As you can see, I left my red here, and I'm going to pick it up when I need it. So I'm just going to do another row of single crochets. Then chain one and turn my work. And once you've got your two rows done, this is how it will look. Now you will need to repeat rows 7 to 12 another 20 times so that you have 21 heart in total or until you have 132 rows, counting from the very first one here. And basically after these two, just a pink rows, you will go in and do the same exact thing. So you would just go in and do three single crochets. And then picking up your red from the wrong side like so, making sure it's not too tight. Then do your one single crochet in the red and change. Finish up those three single crochets like so. chain one and just continue with the same pattern and you'll see that when you pick up the red after those two rows this is how it will look here so after each heart you will have a strand of red here but don't worry this is a wrong side and we are doing this so that we don't have to carry through our pink rows and it doesn't show on a right side but if you prefer to carry the tail under all rows, you can do so. Just bear in mind that it will be quite visible under these rows. So yeah, repeat these rows and I will meet you at the end. And I will put up a grid with a heart on the screen here so it is a bit easier. And just bear in mind that each square acts as your one single crochet. And yet yeah, you can make as many rows as you want depending on how long or short you want your lanyard to be but I will leave mine measurements in the description and I will see you when I finish my hearts and once you have finished doing your rows you should have 21 hearts in total then you will need to do two rows of just seven single crochets for each row on top of that in your pink color this is where you can cut your red one off because we won't need it anymore so I'm just gonna cut it off and I will hide it later and after that we will have a couple of rows to do just to finish this and same as we have our beginning so you want to chain one turn your work and by the way you should have 132 rows at this point so your row 133 will be two single crochets in the first two stitches then decrease so you want to pull up a loop in the first one pull up a loop in the next one and yarn over pull through all three and finish off doing three single crochets in the last three stitches chain one and turn your work for row 134 you want to do single crochet in the first one then do two decreases so one in the next two stitches one more in the next two and single crochet in the last stitch chain one Turn your work and for row 135 you will be doing two decreases. So that's one and two. Chain one, turn your work and row 136 will be just one decrease. So pull up a loop in the next two stitches, you will have three, yarn over and pull through all three. Now again, don't worry about these holes, they do appear because we are doing the creases. You want to chain one to finish off and 
have yourself some tail. Cut it off and grab your clips as we will be sewing both ends with these. So now I have my end here. I'm gonna grab one of the hooks and I'm just gonna feed that through. And I will be basically folding this over on the wrong side so that when you turn from the right side it looks like this. Pull it as much as you can and make sure that it doesn't fold so it is straight. Grab your needle and you will basically need to sew the strangle on the wrong side so that this is staying in place. Now what I like to do is I'm going into the wrong side of my stitches. I'm not going all the way through as it would be showing on our right side. So I'm just going to go through the wrong side of the stitches going into that piece I need to sew it on. And I will be repeating this couple of times. Of course if you want to go through the full layer of this you can do this. This is something I prefer so it doesn't show on the right side. Now once one side is done you will need to move to the other so I'm just gonna go under my stitches again and I will basically repeat the same thing for this edge. So I'm just going to go under the stitches into the piece I need to sew on. And just like that, I will repeat this a few more times. And once you're done with it, you will need to hide this tail in. So again, I'm just going under the stitches on my wrong side. And I will do the same going in the opposite direction so that it is really secure and it doesn't get pulled out by any chance. Now this is where you can cut it off. Then you will need to repeat this on the other end as well. And I'm gonna show you how to hide these tails. So again, you want to grab your needle. You should have one at the beginning and one at the end. So you will do the same exact thing to hide them both. But uh, with this color, I like to go under the stitches with the same color so it doesn't show on the right side again. And I'm doing the same as I did with the tail I used to sew the hardware on. So I just go under the stitches one way and then back the other at least a couple of times to make sure that it is secure. Once that's done, cut it off and repeat the same with the other tail you have here. And once you are done with both of these, all you left to do is to basically attach it to your phone case. And this is it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one.